we're live. And we're live. And we're live. Please, there we go. Everybody. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that's stressful. I don't think anybody's on yet. Um, oh, 36 people. Hey, 36 people. Hi, everybody. It's Ryan and uh, this is Josh. I brought a guest tonight, and uh, thank you for, sorry we're a couple minutes late. We've been having all kinds of weird little, uh, fun little problems tonight, but, but uh, nothing that we can't handle. So, and again, I'm not able to see your comments, so we are going to be getting those at some, at some point tonight. We're uh, going to be able to interact with you guys. So if you guys have any questions for us, anything you want to talk about, shoot them over. We'll get them, but for the time being... Uh, I can't see them right here, but I will be able to see them, so just ask away. Are you guys ready for some music? Are you ready? <laughs> oh, first of all, you guys, thank you um, so much for just hanging out on here with me tonight for the next little bit, and really, we just, we have no agenda. We just want you guys to be blessed. We want to love on you guys. We hope that some of the songs that we play here um, will just really impact your heart, uh, inspire some hope, just inspire some hope in you guys tonight. I know it's been a weird, crazy season, and uh, just just a lot, a lot of uncertainty, but you know what, uh, the more that, that we navigate these waters, and the more that I've been out, I mean, I've been out all over the country for the last year, in the middle of you know, shutdowns and lockdowns and everything. And we've, we've really seen just a, a hunger and a desire uh, from East Coast to West Coast, all over the country, just people um, really pressing into the deep things of God and uh, just going deep in their faith and deep into their prayer lives. And it's, that's, that encourages me so much. Like, um, you know, I don't ever want to go back to normal. And I hope you guys don't either. I hope that from here on out, that no matter what we face, what's in our way, what kind of trials there are, that we would know beyond the shadow of a doubt that we serve a God who is overseeing every single detail with exquisite, exquisite degrees of oversight. And we can trust him with the details of our lives. So he is still God, amen? Here's a little song that talks about Away. Tragedy can leave away. A broken heart won't ever be the same. The pain can stop us in our tracks. Losing what we can't get back. Shaking the foundations of our faith. But no matter what's in my way, no. No matter the battles I face. You are still my God, and you're still my rock, my only hope, Lord, you're all I've got. In every valley, on mountain top, I'll say hallelujah, you're still my God.
And you're still my peace. And you're still my joy. And you're all I need. And you're still my strength. When I am weak. And you're still my God. And I still believe. You are still my God. You're still my God. Some of these comments over here. We just saw you at Elevate Fest in Phoenix. We had such a great time out there in Phoenix this last weekend. Um, we were so grateful to be there. It's so funny. I lost my voice right when I went on stage. You know, when you live out here in Tennessee, everything's all nice and humid and swampy, and you just get a lot of. Uh, it's easier to sing out here, and I forgot what happens when you go back to the desert and it's dry, uh, different story. I just dried up, just shriveled right up out there and could not sing, so. If you guys got any more questions, keep on sending them in. But, um, I tell this story from time to time. We just pull up on that and see if we are. We can see anyone. That's the same problem. Thank you, Mary Lou. It's very kind. Um, I have a song called No Matter What, and it's one of my favorite songs, uh, really special to me. The first time I ever got to play it live for anybody was inside of a women's prison. And uh, I, had just, I had just written it, so I asked these ladies if they wanted to hear a new song because I just, it was like the freshest thing on my mind. And so I started playing this song for them, a room full of about 50 inmates at a prison. And you know they were they were just hopeless. They, their lives were a mess, and they were a wreck, and they, uh, they just they looked tired and worn out, and they had a pretty incredible past and carrying around a lot of baggage. And I I started singing this song that's straight out of Romans eight in the Bible. It says, "I'm convinced that there's nothing that can separate us from the love of God." And it goes on to list all those things. It talks about neither height nor depth nor angels or demons, principalities, nothing in all creation will be able to separate us from God's love. And it's just such an amazing, amazing, beautiful promise for all of us, no matter who we are, no matter where we come from, uh, we, are, we are so loved. And God is fascinated with us. Long before we had even the ability to keep his commandments, I, I feel like he was fascinated with us as his kids. And I just started singing this song to these ladies in jail, and they, they just started to weep. And it was like, for the first time in a long time, somebody was communicating to these ladies that they still had value. That it wasn't about their performance, that their love, that God's love for them wasn't contingent on their performance. It wasn't contingent about the decisions that they made or the messes they'd gotten themselves into or their past. Or their future. It was in right now, and and it's always been the same yesterday, today, and forever. God's love is deep and wide, and it covers a multitude of sins. And I, I just I think that's so amazing. I don't know 
I don't know how it works. I don't know why it works, but it just it does. That's just who he is. He's a good father. And so that's where the song came from. And if you're sitting there in your living room or whatever, you know the song. Sing it. A lot of us grew up believing at any moment we can lose it all. And at the drop of a hat, God might turn his back and move on. And a lot of us feel like we blew it, thinking that we're just too far gone. But I want you to know that there's still hope for you now. change it, you're not separated, no matter what. Anybody believe that tonight? There's never been a better time to get honest. There's never been a better time to get clean. So come as you are and run to the cross and be free. Oh, be free. Because no matter what, says, Ryan, do you miss the days of being a paramedic? Oh, Tim, what a great question. You know, yes and no. I, I do. I miss going on, on a good call where we really got to intervene in somebody's life or intervene in somebody's situation and really make a difference. Um, and I miss a lot of the people that I used to work with. I don't miss being up all night <laughs> and going on really, really stressful calls in the middle of the night, three, four, or five in the morning. Uh, but when that, that job really changed my life. Being a paramedic uh, changed my entire perspective. So, what, what, what soon says, what size shoe do you wear? Um, I wear a size, I wear a size 11 and a half or 12, depending on the shoe. And I got some of these Jordan double straps. I'm getting old, people, so I don't like to tie shoes anymore. So I've been using these Velcro dogs yeah, right here. That's, that's going to be you in the retirement. Yeah. Just some uh, so, yeah. Size 11 and a half or 12 if you want to send me, send me <laughs> a, a, a nice new pair of Jordans. That'd be great. Um, what are my hobbies besides music? 
Barbara. Uh, man, I love to anything outside, any anything outdoors, uh, hunting, camping, fishing, uh, hiking, just being in the hills. I love being outside with my family. Uh, my boys love to be outside as well. And so, um, Freddie, what's up, my man? I'm just seeing this, uh, Freddie. Freddie Franco, man, we, he and I go way, way back. He's one of the one of the OGs. Uh, thankful for you, Freddie. Thanks for your testimony and your heart and just and your support after all these years. Um, maybe we've got a couple more on there that we can see. Well, there's some questions like, who are my biggest inspirations? Well, I have I have a lot of inspirations. I I feel like I, I take something and get inspired by so many people around me. Uh, I think musically, you know, as a kid growing up, I think my biggest inspiration, in, you know, with pop music were people like George Michael, and Michael Jackson, and Bobby Brown. A lot of pop pop R and B artists. Uh, anything rhythmic that I could get my hands on, that my parents would let me get my hands on. And, I was listening to it, but when I started listening to Christian music, I heard bands like Petra, and uh, I heard this band called DC Top uh, when I was in junior high, and, and I just loved DC Top. And, you know, years and years go by, and I run into this dude named Toby Mac, who I guarantee, I guarantee you Toby's not watching this live stream right now, but if he is, maybe he can sing along with us. But Toby and I, uh, Toby is a huge, you know, inspiration, mentor figure, I guess, in my life. And it was so cool. I'd grown up on their music, and then Michael and Kevin, to 25 years later, I got a chance to write a song with Toby. That changed my life, and uh, it's been a really special one. It's called Speak Life. So if you guys know Speak Life, let's just play a little bit. Let's just do it. Yeah. Some days a lot feels perfect, other days it just ain't working. The good, the bad, the right, the wrong, and everything in between. It's crazy, amazing, we can turn it off with the words we say. Mountains come but we'll never be syllable, or we can never die. So speak life, speak life, to the deadest, darkest night. I'm getting old. I'm getting seasoned. Uh, I'm gonna move on here. 
my favorite place in the world, Jane. Uh, I would have to say Israel, Jerusalem, anywhere over in the Holy Land. It's it's just that was probably one of my at the top right now. Nothing's really beat that. Um, a new song on the spot. I'll come back to that one. <laughs> um, Somebody's just said about Maria. Maria says, can, can you sing when we fall apart? I wrote this song. These are the last words my mom spoke to me. And they ended up being this song. You were 43 when you got the news. Life will be changing, ain't nothing we can do. The clock is ticking now, all I can think about is knowing I have to move on without you somehow. And I just can't believe that you're the one who's keeping it together. As you hold my hand and say, it's okay to cry, it's okay to fall apart, you don't have to try to be strong when you are not, and it may take some time to make sense of all your thoughts, but don't ever find your tears, cause there is freedom in every drop, sometimes the only way to heal a broken heart when we fall apart and you ask me to sing some songs that I wrote that I can barely speak can barely play no all my tears rushing falling on my string make the sound of these progressions have a different ring and I hate to say goodbye Oh, this will be the last time we're together As you close your eyes and say It's okay to cry It's okay to fall apart You don't have to try To be strong when you are not And it may take some time To make sense of all your thoughts but don't ever fight your tears Cause there is freedom in every drop Sometimes the only way To heal a broken heart Is when we fall apart Holding nothing back. 
doesn't matter what I have to go through. I'm holding nothing back, nothing back for me. words it's you know I really really worked hard to just not make that song just a morbid song about pain and loss and grief but really just just take the hope that she was saying and take uh, just the wisdom and the insight and the revelation that she had in those last moments and to just put them down somewhere uh, I honestly didn't think that would ever be a song let alone be a song that went to Christian radio um, and it's just it's been unbelievable a song like When We Fall Apart that just impacts so many people and really it's kind of like that permission song man it's just kind of wrecking people right where they are you know we're all just people it doesn't matter who you are what you're going through if you're a person I feel like this song is is, is finding people in those places that are painful you know? and that's really beautiful it's so it's honoring to me and humbling to me how I seem to get woven into people's stories uh, through, through this music and it's there, to me there's no greater privilege it's um, even though I don't know everybody uh, I still feel like we all get woven together and become a part of each other's lives and there's, there's bands and artists and music that have done that for me too uh, as, I've, as I've navigated the hard stuff through life so thank you for those questions like that um, somebody asked earlier that like, can you do a new song on the fly? Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, I have a We're gonna write it right now. <laughs> That's gonna be hard. Um, I can I can play a new one for you guys. Um, I have a song called Mosaic. It's brand new. Um, you can you can stream it, but it, that's pretty much it. Um, but you know I was. Just the concept of mosaic, you know, I, I grew up in a little country church and we had these big stained glass windows and these mosaic pieces all over the place. And at a certain time in the afternoon where the light would shine through that in, in the afternoon, it would just cast this, uh, this very beautiful color scape into the, into the sanctuary. And I just got to thinking, you know, several months ago, um, how all of us, you know, we're not, we don't just have a story. We are a story. Every person doesn't just have a story. You are a story. And there's a lot of parts of our lives that maybe we're not proud of, maybe that have been a little bit scuffed up and a little bit unpolished, and uh, they might have been broken. Um, but just like a mosaic or a stained glass window, something that was once probably garbage, pieces of just broken shards of pottery or, or glass, somebody picked those things up and polished them and shaped them 
and cleaned them up and fused those things, those pieces that were dysfunctional, fused them back together with a lot of love and care and detail. And now they are, they, they become this beautiful, amazing work of art. And when the light shines through that, it, it illuminates with this, this amazing beauty. And I feel like that's just exactly what God does with us. He doesn't use us in spite of our brokenness. He actually uses that stuff too. He weaves in our mistakes right into our story. Um, it's unbelievable. And so I wrote a song. I, this song is called Mosaic. And it just talks about how that's what he does. He, he takes the mess ups and mistakes and puts it together an amazing work of art. And if I mess up, I'm really sorry because I don't know it very well yet. It's brand new. So I'm answering the request to play something new on the fly. Here we go. <clears throat> Looking at my past right now, honestly, I can't see how any beauty could be underneath these ashes. Every place I compromise, all the patterns of my life, there's a million things I wish had never happened. It's amazing how you take every mess up and mistake, every broken frame, shattered place in me. Instead of throwing me away, you clean up every jagged shape and put a work of art together perfectly. And then you shine your light through my fractured light. No, nothing was wasted. singing harmony with you. Who are you? My name is Josh Soltz. And? And I play drums with Ryan. And I've been playing with him for five, six years, something like that. We met in Boise, Idaho. And now we both live out here in Nashville, Tennessee. 
Shout out to my mom and dad who are watching <laughs> over in Antioch. Ooh, love you guys. Hey, do you guys like my like my hair tonight? I'm uh, I'm not cutting it anymore, you guys. So ah, it's getting it's getting interesting. I did cut my beard off though, so I got a lot of coin. I got a lot of mixed feedback about the beard. Um, so it's gone now. Tell you what, maybe we'll just end with this. A few years back, I wrote a song that talked about the storms of our lives, and it's a song called Eye of the Storm, and a really special song to me. It's, it's for everybody. Again, we're all, it's just, we're all just people who are going to face uncertainties, but I wanted to encourage everybody on here tonight. To just run, run to the arms of Jesus. No matter, no matter what you're doing, no matter where you are, no matter how frail you feel, no matter how weak you feel, no matter how many questions you have, uh, the only place that we will find any peace is in the arms of Jesus. You are beloved. If, if you don't get anything from me all night, I pray. I pray that you walk away from this little like, virtual concert just knowing that you are a son and you are a daughter of the Most High, that you are uh, precious in His sight, that you are a son and daughter of the King of Kings, and nothing can separate you from His love. It's impossible. When the storm is raging and you're not holding on to much hope, just stay right there in the eye of that storm, that calm place. Is, he is the eye of the storm. He is that calm when the world is spinning out of control and it feels like you're just going to get crushed and the chaos is going to fling you away somewhere. Just know you can trust God with the details of your lives. That's our only hope. It really, really is. That's where the song came from. In the eye of the storm, you remain in control. In the middle of the war, you guard my soul. You alone are the anchor when my sails are torn. Your love surrounds me. In the eye of a storm. When the solid ground is falling out from underneath my feet, between the black skies and my red eyes, I can barely see. And when I'm feeling like I've been let down by my friends and my family, I can hear the rain reminding me. In the eye of the storm, you remain in control. In the middle of the war, you guard my soul. You alone are the anchor when my sails are torn. Your love surrounds me in the eye of the storm. Mm -hmm. oh, in my hopes and dreams. Far from me, and I'm running out of faith. I see the future I picture slowly fade away. And when the tears of pain and heartache come pouring down my face, yeah, I find my peace in Jesus' name. In the eye of the storm, you remain in control. When they let 
just don't know how I'm gonna make ends meet. I did my best, but now I'm scared to death. I might lose everything. And when a sickness takes my child away, and there's nothing I can do, my only hope is to trust you. Yeah, I trust you, Lord. In the eye of the storm, you remain in control. In the middle of the war, you guard my soul. Cause you alone are the anchor. My sails are torn. The love surrounds me. In the eye of the storm, you remain in control. In the middle of the war. You guard my soul, and you alone are the anchor. When my sails are torn, your love surrounds me in the eye of the storm. And your love surrounds me in the eye of the storm. Praise him. I love you guys. I love you so much. Thank you, Caleb, for having me on your summer concert series. And for everybody who's tuning in, um, be sure to visit my Facebook or my Instagram, Ryan's Music. Would love to connect with you guys more on all that. Uh, lots of new music coming out. Lots of exciting things happening right now. Uh, we'd love to come out and see you guys sometime this year. And uh, we're grateful. We, we love you. We're honored. It's a privilege. Have a great night. Love on each other. Um, yeah. Amen. Have a great night, everybody. We'll see you next time.